So good morning, everyone, and everyone who is watching. Uh, we're a little bit delayed this morning with some internet uh, technical problems, but uh, we will be on soon. We are here at the East Side Freedom Library in St. Paul. Um, we scheduled, obviously, we scheduled this event before uh, the developments this week in Ethiopia, which make this topic all the more important uh, for us to learn about. And so uh, we expect to hear about the philosophy of unity and what that means uh, from different perspectives um, in Ethiopia and hearing from our Oromo friends uh, this morning. So, uh, who's first? Yes. Okay. Good morning again. I am Mahdi Mohammed. Uh, uh, we have uh, two panelists today. I will be a moderator, but in the meantime, if there are points for clarification, I will be in and do my uh, and present my points. So uh, today we have. Uh, Five, five subtopics to talk about. As you guys know, these days Ethiopia is sick. We are having some kind of uh, uh, disease that is going around, but this disease has ever has ever has ever been there for probably the last four or five years. Uh, we have the youth, we have the society, we have the government, we have activists. And everybody is trying to play their role, so uh, our panelists will try to assess what is this whole process and how these roles can be identified and how these roles can be changed into positive outcome. So uh, we will be discussing the first point is uh, how we assess the current situation in Ethiopia, that's the first topic. The second one is, is it possible to, scry, to, to strike a, a balance between the Oromo nationalists' view and the far-right unionists' view and media? Three, can we change the political culture of condemnation into cooperation? Four, can we sort out the fact from fiction or fabrication? fabrication? How can we use the role of, so, how can we assess the role of social media and use it for creating stability? And the fifth one is what should be done to maintain peace and help, help transition process succeed. So we have panelists and I will let them uh, introduce uh, themselves to you guys. Then after that, uh, they will uh, start discussing on each point. Uh, so Yada Jugala, Rakina Majurana Hesati, Chinani, Sabonuma to Jirasin, Hani, Si, Fintaluma, Birusuma to Kotujira. So Achid Duti, a committee, Hala Madala, or his Hala Jugala, Umu Dendina, Yada Jurati Mariana. Can Sade some more? Ada Siasa will meet Uyo Hisi, while Arabsu, Hisi, while Jungursu, Hisi, while Satri Basu and Hesa. A committee Ada and a Jiri, Ada, Wal Gargaru, Ada, Walinahu, Ada, Wali Hadudu, Akasis and Umu, then the Naya, the Jurati Haswin. A for example, a committee Lugafi Soba the Bafa Chudan de Naya, Yerona Manti Tijuruhuni, Yero social media, Tiero Namni, Sabahima Adada, Fayeda Muyohisi, electronic technology, digital technology. One hit do fide jira hawa sa kanya kaysa. Hawa sa kanya kuni. Uga kamiti fura chajira. So ba kana kamiti adda ba fura chajira. A kamiti wahum de juru mati kanya kaysa tu. Odu dem tu kana kamiti madala. Kamiti adda ba fana ya de juru ti. Jari na china de rokun mariata. Esinil le marisisa. Shaneisan halli uma me kun uma me yo kaysa rakin no kun uma me. A kamiti rakin na kana kaysa ba. Fur duru kanya mal pa kachu ka ba. Namni kanya mal huba chuka ba akauli galati bijetin tun garamiti dema garamiti garamiti chesi subarba na ya dejurati 
hasumina jiddu jiddu ti afan ingilifatinis ni ibsini yechuda uh, thank you for your patience again what i have explained in afan oromo was what i already said in english so now uh, the further the panelists will introduce themselves and uh, we will start the discussion so in the meantime if there is any point of clarification i will be getting in and do my uh, clarification as well thank you so much uh, let me start from the first panelist and he will start by by introducing himself namni as laman toko kawna wari wari mari bodu ofis mari 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 tasisu kandura of barsi sudan gel kabani samboda kapti dura kapti dura ra isini phaso yo ofis isini mari sisu e galan galato ma My name is Nage Sadwe. I am a social justice activist um, and also a lawyer by profession. Uh, I think we have made this introduction uh, several times, so I will just directly go to the talking points. The first one, as Mahadi uh, mentioned, is assessing the current situation uh, in Ethiopia. Uh, uh, Ethiopia, uh, as as right now, is in a in a in a great uh, uh, difficulty, in a great uh, problem. <coughs> um, the thing is, already there are different uh, contradictory political views that are held by different groups. There are nationalists as. Um, based on ethnic uh, nationalism. There are, okay, uh, all right, I think uh, I'm not going to do the, I'm going to do the talking point right now. Let me first uh, give a chance to Zacharias for introduction. Uh, I think Nagisa is today uh, very well prepared, that's why he just jumped into the points. <laughs> so now uh, the next, uh, I mean the second panelist will introduce himself, okay? Thank you. All right, thank you. My name is Zakaria Sailu, and this is my second one in this uh, panel. So I don't, I'm not going to go into the deep introduction. I work for the state of Minnesota, but my views today will not represent the state of Minnesota in any way or form or shape. So this is my personal view. Kamal Tani or Ghana Mafakata, Dutok Tokko at Tamal Tani Stawundanda, Makaunki ya Zakaria Saidu Jedama, and I'm the new Minnesota Kiyo Sanjirata, Motumma Minnesota Tiri Nujit. Okay, Galatoma, Amma, Yada, Dura, and Marita, all right, um, I will be talking in uh, English uh, and then paraphrase it in Oromo. So, uh, just like about two weeks ago, maybe a week and a half ago, um, the Ethiopian Prime Minister had. Uh, had a parliamentary session in his uh, uh, parliamentary speech. Uh, there were several questions, economic, political, social, and um, uh, different questions of the current situation of Ethiopia that was raised to, to the prime minister that were asked. So, um, and however, one question, a response to one question caused uh, uh, public anger, at least among the the residents uh, of uh, Oromia Regional Estate. The question was about uh, about role of medias in Ethiopia. There are several medias, and uh, the, the 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 woman who asked this question mentioned that some medias uh, do spread hate, and is not responsible for their actions instead of promoting unity, development, and um, uh, uh, argument among the public, some media would spread hate and, uh, and also incite conflict. And 
is not constructive, rather destructive. So responding to that question, the Prime Minister uh, really warned the media and he said, uh, we, we know that a lot of uh, violations uh, by media, violations of uh, some laws, proclamations and like things, and we know that all media are not working as per the law of the country, but we are tolerating to, because we are trying to widen space in a country which has been under uh, suppression for a long time, so now we are not jumping into taking action or arresting the journalists. So, and then he warned uh, some of the medias and some uh, of media leaders uh, or uh, owners of the media who have a foreign passport, who are, res who are citizens of uh, other countries, who are leading media in Ethiopia and who, um, who are engaged in some acts of maybe that promote violence or some other things. And he warned them, saying that to, you guys can run away to your country if some, some problem, conflict happens in Ethiopia, but we don't have other countries to run into, so you should better watch out. We can take action. This word he said, then a lot of free action uh, happened on social media, saying that is getting back to dictatorship and a lot of actions. and. Mostly some is taken, there is a media, um, uh, the Oromia Media Network, which the director is of. He used to be here in Minnesota and he's a citizen of the United States. So, so most people took it, the Prime Minister is targeting him. So immediately, uh, anger, uh, people were upset and uh, the, the, the director of the media is an activist who has been leading a protest for the last four years for just within his media, uh, having that media, using the media for uh, rather activism or social justice movement. Uh, uh, so, so that caused an anger and there was, um, but one day after that, so this director has been, the government has given him, assigned him security details. Uh, because he is a uh, like high profile person. So immediately uh, he tweeted and posted on Facebook saying that at the mid midnight the government tried to take the security details from him. I mean, the, the, the one of the security guards got a phone call saying that you have to leave uh, from a commander. So that tweet continued. So his supporters started to move to where his home is in the night, in the middle of the night. It's 2 p.m. So after one hour or two hours, thousands of people are surrounding his house, and and he continued tweeting and of the action of the government, and that was taken as a, a attempt to assassinate him. And then a protest uh, broke out all over uh, the country. Uh, I, I think can be said throughout the Oromia Regional State. Um, in many several uh, towns and cities. At the same time, there are people who allege, uh, who uh, condemn him for really have extreme views of nationalism, uh, the Romo nationalism, and the other group were not very suspicious of this act, and they were actually demanding even sometimes uh, him to be brought to justice and the like things several times, even though they don't have any tangible things. So after a while, a uh, protest went on like for about two days and then elders gathered and political leaders uh, uh, gathered and uh, after some discussion, he really announced to people to calm down and that the protest would stop. Uh, so however, then what continued is between his supporters of the Oromo and other ethnic groups like Amhara and others in several big towns such as Adama and other places, people started to conflict. We don't know really how the point, how it started, but conflict started. Uh, actually, first 27 people were killed. They said about 30 people were killed by the government police and others are killed among between the conflict is of different people. But now the number is more than 50, 67. Yeah, now it's not, the number is 67 
I think it is more than way more than that right now. So and the conflict is not yet stopped. So it's going on. That's why we changed our topic from the that philosophy of unity to talking about the current situation. And at the end of this discussion, I have a call for Ethiopians. Uh, I have written a, a, a small a one page call for peace. Uh, I'll be reading that. So the situation is that it looks like there is big ethnic violence, ethnic conflict going on. It can turn into genocide. We don't know what is going to happen today, tomorrow. And there is a lot of anger against the prime minister um, by his own ethnic, uh, from, he's from Oromo, but by, by the Oromos themselves. So uh, that is, in short, that's what's going on. Um, maybe let me turn, give the chance to Zacharias and then I will go to the second question and or uh, other questions. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you for reminding me, Mahdi. One of my fans in English, in the Kana fan, or what in Grandavia, in the Babs of Dema, never go to do one big of one Hara in it, or Jibu, or Amma Fan for anything. Has our Mumichin Stera, Parla Maka Satasis, Kain Media, and has our way a good double at Hasis, Imma the Dara Gafi Gapatame, head to Devi Davis, Garusa Kesa, Imma Media Kagafi Gapatame, Devi, and never to Media Lengari. Media ni negara bus, media ni umat awal itu bus ni jira kerja tu, tu tu es. Isa awal kabat eh, gafi ini deh, Davis ini Davis kesat ti, media ni one new teacher, isnet hendak jurnuf media ni seret absen ni, injiran ini benda media ni one negara lab seni oka awal tapi umat awal itu bus tu dalam injiran ini garu one absen ni fi dire siasa balik sura je cah absen jira, eh kesat tu orang ni lami bi alat hasan, harga dan data ni. Saya akan wajib abdani sini. Yo rakun toko umat biaya tiba kat tengah abdani nubiaya tiba nung abnu kan aku ada bagor aja deh. Wang kan tu baju saat Hindu bah. Nampi dun hawa sebalan kesatu sabun tu nyoro motif hawa sabun mo. Dun dubin tu jawab ribet ye fakta kaje dun social media kat i dubin sengke um babal kat i deh ni. Ega dubin sengke aturan Hindu bah. Wan niti ane tu family. Gaya tu kondu bakas war itu sejauh ini bahasa fakta negara itu bil bilam kerja tu, kerja itu bil bilam jadi mendu bah ini orang kan berisi sendu, awak sangat nusan ini, eh mana sama suci deh ni, hari itu ane bau jalan kabe, mormi orang kan, mormi pun nak kerja mau deh ni, deh awak sahur motif awak sah sabot berat ini tu, wal abde umam te, wal abde umam te kan ada bun harga ma. Nama jahatnya mitor bapa ya, cuka media adunya agak bahasa juga lubun nama jahatnya mitor bapa berarti jadi nama kita sedih polisi mau turun mati di jeh kami jadi mana mungkin kan mau world update sabo tak jadi tu, kan mau world update boleh tu punya sabo mati jadi tu kajat amat tu gawa faham jira, karena jadi cuki ya, ada fano nanti mungkin lubu tu matu siri, orang kajat aja cuma tu kuwa media adunya agak baik baca jira, harga mati tu one ni juru kena fakat. Kan ada timur umar raya ada ikhbal ini nanti kena deh na hal am juru fikir fanon juru manfaat awan juru gara tak karya si kabar se dewi ti dewi aje tu orang bulan. So before the karas presents his points, I just want to make sure that we are shaping the agenda so that we don't repeat the same thoughts or the same points again and again. So uh, the Karis, uh, Nagis has already given us the background of all the whole situation from yesterday till today and what is what happened and all those of all those kinds of things. So now uh, the Karis uh, specifically will assess the current situation and we will he will also give us his uh, views on how we continue to the future and what would be uh, what is in there in the future for Ethiopia. So thank you very much. Nagesan, yada juru yohi is nu se ne se jira halle halle amet juru kona kami tu mami garamati dema wa juru nu kasi jira mo zakarias wani muhimu halle amet juru kona kisa kami tiba na halle amet juru kono wanu mani tu agar kona so jira ma kana si jira ma halle kana ti fi wana da da tu walka bate zakarias wan full durati le yada sa nu fi da jechu kala tu ma. Thank you, Nagesa. Uh, Ethiopia is an extremely complicated country. 
to understand what's happening currently in Ethiopia, you have to really go back and understand the history. And that's important because Ethiopia has a very unique history in Africa and also, in fact, in the world. Uh, many people who do not know Ethiopia or recently introduced to Ethiopia misunderstand what's going in Ethiopia because they think that it's just like any other African country. It's different in several ways, but because we don't have time, I'm not going to go into the details, obviously. Uh, the present day Ethiopia was created around 150 years ago, and it's created by incorpor incorporating the northerners, the Amaras and the Tigray, what we usually call together Abyssinians, conquered and occupied the southern part of the current day Ethiopia. And so for many, many years, there was this dichotomy between the northerners and the southerners. The northerners, the conquerors, and the southerners, including the Oromos, the Somalis, and other ethnic groups, were the conquered people. From day one, the southerners, who were the conquered people, were struggling to get their independence from Ethiopia, or to get their rights, or they were fighting for self-determination for many years. And because this was developing from time to time, the Ethiopian government were taking some actions so that the issue would not get out of hand. Some of the major points were, in 1974, there was a land reform, which was necessitated because the southern lands were taken and they were given mostly to the northerners, who came and then established what we call the garrison towns. Garrison towns are important in Ethiopia history. The northerners came and when they conquered, they start, they formed garrison towns, which finally developed into towns, economic centers, and also bureaucratic centers. Most of the towns in Ethiopia, the southern part of Ethiopia, are inhabited by the northerners. Or also sometimes other ethnic groups like the Gragis who moved later on as commercial entrepreneurs. But the Oromos were outside the towns. They are not living in towns, so this also created this dichotomy between urban population and the, the rural population. The rural population are the indigenous population, like the Oromos. The Land Proclamation tried to resolve that whole question. To some extent, it resolved the economic aspect of it, and the land became the property of the state. And so the individual Neftenyas, what we call the northerners, where their land were taken and then given to the peasants. So that at least resolved the land question to some extent. But all the other issues remained intact. The military is the one that proclaimed the land proclamation. It created dictatorship, but the Oromos still did not, and the other southern people did not have their rights even during that time. And because of that, there were some liberation uh, fronts that were established for self-determination. And as you, many of you know, as a result of that, Eritrea became an independent state. Ethiopia is unique in that that's one of the very unique or very rare situations where a part of a country was uh, seceded and became an independent state. That happened in Ethiopia. Eritrea became independent. And then after that, the Tigrians, who were northerners, came into power and they created what they called ethnic federalism in Ethiopia. So in the last 28 years, Ethiopia lived under what we call ethnic federalism or what we call multinational federalism. But that still did not resolve the Oromo question, even though now Oromo started to have some kind of a fake federalism, there were some benefit that the Oromos received even through that mechanism. But power still resided within the, northern, the northerners who are the Tigrians during those, the last 28 years. But the Oromos started to exercise some freedom, cultural freedom, but the power style did not reside with the Oromos. And so because of that and because of other things also, the students, the last 40 years, the Oromo students started to rebel. In that Oromo rebellion, student rebellion, 
also expanded to other areas, and finally the TPLF, which was the central dominant power during the last 28 years, was forced to leave power, and then what we call the change agent led by Lamma and Abi came to power. Even though they belong to EPRDF, they chased the central uh, power into go to Mekale, and then they came to power. But still, because they are, came from EPRDF, there used to be, there, still there is a, a trust problem uh, from more or almost against the EPRDF government. It's in this single situation that the current uh, uh, even occurred. So I'm just giving you the historical background uh, and uh, the guests have spoken uh, about uh, the current issues. So we're going to come into that. So I'll give that back to the mic to you. Okay, I'll continue. Let, let, let me just uh, take what's going on currently in Ethiopia. I'm not going to go to the details. So it's all this, the historical background is extremely important to understand what's going on. There is still this huge ethnic conflict in Ethiopia, not conflict as such, but ethnic uh, differences in Ethiopia. Unlike the United States, in Ethiopia, there is what we call territorially based ethnic groups. For example, in the United States, even though there is federalism, it's not based ethnically. Minnesota is divided. Everybody lives in Minnesota, and it doesn't have any ethnic component. It's not ethnic-based federalism in the United States or many other countries. But in Ethiopia, it's ethnic, it's territorially based. And because of that, there is this claim that we have to administer ourselves into, uh, locally, and then we should also have our share point, share, uh, uh, role in the administration of the central government. And so the EPRDF, even though the, uh, the prime minister came to power, there hasn't been any election. The election is uh, uh, going to be held in 2020, around May, I believe. There are only a few months to do the election. And uh, it's because of this, all this that's making the situation very tense. The EPRDF, which is led by the prime minister, Abi, wants to win the election. And there are other parties that, for the first time, have also uh, democratic rights, and they are also want to run, run for elections within a couple of months. And uh, because the democratic rights are now given, everybody could speak now freely. And in a country that's not used to freedom of the speech, that really sometimes creates some problem. On top of that, because the elites did not sit together and try to reconcile their differences. And on top of that, because their uh, social media is exasperating the conflict between it, it's almost the situation is coming out of hand. It's almost like uh, the, the room is filled with the gas, and it really needed somebody to strike a match for it to go in flames. That's exactly what happened in Ethiopia recently. <coughs> Okay. Thank you, Zacharias, for describing the current situation as well as the historical background. But before we go to the next point, I just want to introduce uh, another panelist. Uh, he just arrived now. He will explain. He will. Uh, he will introduce himself in Afaromo as well as in English. But for the most part, I don't know. I mean, the mood has changed because uh, we have in here a lot of. English audiences, that's why they are focusing more in English and expressing in English language. So what we can do is, I, th I think it is good to transition between two languages because this is a good topic for people back home in Ethiopia. And I, I hope you guys don't mind for that, but if there is any uh, clarification that we have to do, I will do in between, okay? So now I will uh, give the uh, mic to, uh, this, the, the, to the other panelists. He will introduce himself. And, uh, and then Nagisa will uh, start uh, describing or uh, explaining the next topic. Just, we are live on Facebook just five minutes ago, so make okay. more Romo in case you go back. Okay? Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, my name is Abjalil Abdallah, and I've been uh, in this country for a very, very long time. I, I believe for now it is. This is just my home. 
for more than half of my life, I guess, I'm here. And this is the one I know most. Uh, in any case, I've been to Ethiopia for um, twice. I've been there twice. The first time it was just a lot of people, everybody was happy, and uh, for the first time, the um, situ people can talk, people can uh, gather, people can do anything, and um, it, was, it was great. And for me, because I've been uh, very far away for so long, and I've never seen my family for like 38 years and so on, it was very, very happy. The second time I went, the mood was very different, very, very different. Uh, because people say there's democracy, but uh, uh, you know, people who can go to the media have democracy, the rest is uh, not really. And people can uh, gather, but if they gather, when they come out, each one of them will be just caught by uh, white clothed individuals who are going to question them and do them. There is a lot of uh, intimidation. Or they will create uh, cases to take you to uh, court, or they will create cases to shut your business, or there are so many, many, many things. That's the second time I went. And uh, from that, I, can, I kind of figure out where it's going. So are both uh, times while the new prime minister comes to power? Oh, yeah. oh yes, both times I went while the new prime minister is there. And, uh, and uh, everything that is try that looks like boiling, it is created by the government itself. People just don't get it, but um, all these ethnic clashes and so on, it is created by the government itself. That's my feeling. I cannot, you know, if, uh, the first question is how do you assess the current situation? So, good. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, from uh, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm a person who did not go through uh, the other people. The way the other people went was like to show uh, themselves on TV and so on. No, I'm, I'm one of the people who just. We just went trying to assess, trying to find out what exactly is going on and so on. And uh, from that, what I, uh, what I gather is um, uh, the people who are on power were to just trying massively to consolidate their, uh, their, uh, you know, their, 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 their power. And uh, people who may think like them can either join them or shut up. They will not be able to organize. People like uh, Zema and so on are very family, fam family with them. <laughs> and people like, uh, like, like the Oro, any, 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 any group of Oro, I, they have to either join them or shut up. That's what it is. And, uh, the first time they were able to go and gather people and tell them their programs and things like that. But now, the second time I went, no, they can't even uh, they can't even go out. They can't, I mean, what I'm saying, they can't go out. They can't go out and gather people and tell their programs and so on. Only government propaganda will be disseminated through their uh, medias and uh, even this clash and so on. The government. Uh, medias will selectively, selectively uh, disseminate them through uh, the mass media and so on. Um, people like command will not have any voice. People like uh, the Oromo in Bolo uh, um, will not, cannot have any voice at all. If anybody talks about them, it is like. Uh, uh, that that these those persons will be you know suppressed and so on, and um, but from what I gather, all these clashes, all all of them, I would think you know I could be wrong, but I would think the government wants them so that 
people would feel uh, their security is at stake, so that the government, so that the government will come back and say, uh, we're gonna take care of these security issues if you follow us. Eventually, if you follow us and if you allow us to implement the programs that we have, your security would be fine. Otherwise, if you keep challenging us, this is the issue, this is the thing that's going to happen. So, in short, that's what I understand uh, the situation is in, uh, in Ethiopia. And uh, uh, no other, no, no um, opposition groups are organized. The opposition groups are also in disarray. Uh, for, for example, the Oromo groups are, they don't even have, uh, they don't even have uh, a program or a means to challenge the government at all, at all, because they themselves are not organized. They themselves are simply uh, <laughs> fighting each other, I guess, or or they don't know where to go. Or they, they, do, they don't even meet. For instance, last time when uh, the government was trying to do something, I don't know if it is a killing or if it is simply arresting. Joar, one of the prominent Oromo uh, activists in that country, they were, uh, they, they, they came out and each one of them was saying things just separately, so separately. They should have at least come up with some communique and, uh, and what's next and so on. After, you know, in the last, in, in, in this just last uh, two weeks, uh, over 103 people have been killed, and the rest in thousands were injured. And uh, a lot of property was also damaged. The people who came out to protest were simply uh, doing just a demonstration, peaceful, absolutely peaceful demonstration, but the government prepared thugs were uh, fighting those demonstrators with a lot of, it is everywhere, that's why I say this government, who else can do that from one part of the nation up to the other, from east to west, and everywhere there were people who were uh, armed with uh, big knives and uh, sticks and so on, who were fighting the demonstrators. And after the demonstration was stopped, these same thugs were going house to house, house to house, uh, trying to find young people who might have been uh, part of the demonstration, and uh, it, it was, it looks like ethnically based, they were doing that. And all this, from my assessment, I think the government is trying to make it, uh, make it clear that if you guys demonstrate, if you oppose at all, whether peacefully or not, whether you organize, uh, whether through an organization or just peaceful demonstration, this is what you are going to face unless you follow what I say, and what I say is going to be implemented 100% whether you want it or not. And uh, that would include, what, what, what they're saying includes, uh, you know, your land is also mine. Your, yeah, it is land in Ethiopia is government owned, and it's only all land. And uh, they can grab it at any time from anybody and uh, call it, this is because of an investment. We, we want this land for an investment and they can take it uh, any time. So everything we say goes. That's, that's what it is in short. That's how I looked. That's how I saw the, the nation is. Yeah. Uh, 
Tengah apa sih akses? Tengah tengah lebih sangat tengah pun dah pemuat bin awa akses ini tu. Akan aku ti, akan aku ti mau teman tu ni. Nampi election ada kan? Kan leh ada election ada tille. Walau berapa absolutely abadan akan injaran ni. Walau ni tu, tengah lebih sangat tengah pun tu tengah leh. Yo di bawah di bawah kita ni syakir lah. It is one of the things that we have to do. The reason is that we have to do this. 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 Policy. We have to do this. 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 Tak ada yang nanti tu, kalau mahu tu mahu isu hujan tu, kalau ini mahu cahaya je cura tu, dan dia mah, mahu tu mahu tu ramu akan aku tu, akan terhalang meja dan aku tu mahu tu mahu biasa bulcura, abg butut tengah tengah murat teh tujuh tu tu ni, ya roda ni ada jalan cura, wanita kopi saya tu nanti makada, oso orang berat atau kulle ayam itu kan dia je cura. Walaupun isi ayat itu kan orang dia tu orang program isi dah di world fak kata kau program ni isi dah kat kemudian jatuh program isi dah program Ethiopia tak kiti lagi Ethiopia tak kiti Ethiopia tak kiti kan ani aku ti kesan wang gua berani rakan aku ti je cula aku berong ke mu wang gua berani rakan aku ti Ethiopia tak kiti tanah nama ni nama jari kau ti nama jari es Wara minyak kipar. Itu apa yang kita dalam wara ego dan dewan wara sanjat teyati. Wara kesetia tu kaisa wara si wali geltun raga kaisa video rancat dari banyak raga kau mau dalam kau orang 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 dia tu raga ini aku tu dah izin macam orang orang awak je. Gorset Thorni sana itu leh, wari iada butut tinggal teh kat tapi terlalu leh isal mata hujung ini all tu jat tu syakir ini kawa tu bin kerasan dia tu way way orang muda rata tu kucing dia bini mu way orang muda wara sangat berarti kata terlalu tu bijatan a kajaru dan dewu wara berarti jen dewu tu kajibu dan dewu mu Sabur ma orang mahu tujuan iya dan sabur ma orang muda gubar lah katanya kita jalan titi cacau kan dia tu jatuh iya dan tanah pun guia guia dan tetap ingin orang tu tuh wan sangat temul lefty nanti fakat itu mana tanah sebelum ni baru nota nota kata baru nota yang curan tu lefty saat itu wni akak wara majanin Mana hera, mana yang hera berkesan kepada ti Iran ini berkaitan dengan bijak butu tilu tilu dan ti wakilum marah kahkan dan san pula ni berkesan kepada ti asdir fatani boleh cur dilihat tu orang boleh baca suatu suatu yang kami jalan jalan ini sekolah rata tapi cari yang jadi curam berbahaya orang di sana dengar old chin sana ti bodoh nanti orang yang orang jani fan kula makum apa nak tu jalan. Isin sendiri mata si na umur ti ada dem dia curo. Bagi san ada muncul ada je curo berbadan mu esok orang jatuh. Walau pun cukup betul ada dia orang yang aku patah hula nanti. Bagi berat terlalu bagi berat terlalu tangkap ini sahaja lekawan. Mu orang yang bagi tu tidak ada je curo orang di orang ni orang muda jadi tu. Kerana terumat orang muda berarti sabun muda muda dan kerana muda tu 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 ni kutu orang di dia orang di Itu perayaan tak kiti tanam ni untuk makan nama tu kau kafat wansa jadi yo faham macam mana dia kerana untuk kau tu kau akan faham macam tu dan dia kerana tu way orang orang jadi faham mula kerana dia berarti berkaiti orang orang jadi culeng kerana dia berarti kau faham tu agak agak singgah udah berbanda itu prima apa faham sura mula itu perayaan tanam ni tu jumpa seorang kamu garu jumpa sebutan seorang kamu garu Ekuiti wanjani ni tu jura. Berani bapa jangan tunggu tu. Wan wali kabeh me. Tahe tu jura. Misalnya kabeh ni nato, puna siasat ini nato. Gara sosiali tu. Kita mau hawa sumat ini nato. 
ፖላንቱማ ወርቀበት የትጀል ሰንበት ታውቂ ጣንጎች ወደ ሞጆ ካተክቲ ዘባተ ዘለል ብራና አከጀቹ ላተቲ አርካ ሮሞ ሮሞ ዱገይዘ አቶሞ ሁም ጃራምቲ አከጋሪ ትጀረከናስ ለክትሩታ ትጀቴኒ እትዱበቱ ጃራምቲ ዋን ሮሞ አርካ ቀምኒ ወጀቸ ዱቢን ሰንደረጋራ ኦሉ ሲላሂ ኦሉ ዘየቱ ትነት ደጋበ ነብይ ተው ክጭ ተራ ወዳ ገርተ ዛርዱ ላበቹ ደንደው ኩባ ጆዋርሰኒ ኢሰል ሌዳ ገርተ ነው ዳፕ ሲሞ ቻለሱ ዙራ ዱሩ ሶዳ ቸሰኒ አከ ተለወ ደርተ ወንጀ ጀዱ ዱበን ጎሩ ዳ ተታ ፈጫ ጀርተ ጀቱ ትነት ደጋበ ዲባ ሲቲ ሌራ ገለቶ ነው ወደ አብዱል መጂድ ሶ አም ወደ አፋን ሞርሞቲን ቲአንሲና ማሊፍ ቀብቲ ሙቲራ ኢትሞሪያን ሙኩኒ ሄዱ ቀብቲ በርባጭ ሳዳ ከሱመትል ማ ያኒ ዲሃቲ ሊጅራ ያኒ ሰንፋላተው ስቲ ሃቹ ሚላንዲያ ሶ ኑቲ ወኒ በርባኑ አከ ሀዋስኒ ኸኛ ኸሚቱ ዱጋዳ ኸሚቱ ሰበበረቲ ወንዳዌ ያደሳ ይፍሰቴ ከንጁጩፋ አከ አደባባቹ አከ አደባባቱ በርባና so amay tianse obbo negesan qabti lemi sarati ibsasa khana kasumatille yo yada obbo abdul majid amma khasi khana yo yada satin khade gerbiyot hi palla rayot hi yo qabati kasumatille yada sedi satille yo qabati ibsu ni dende asumar rahi demokrasi le egella asumar rahi haso khenyen le haso madara wa fi sabab amgu te guru dende ye chukala toma strike a balance uh between the Roman nationalist view and the uh, okay yeah um i find english is to but maybe it gets a decode to that i find case and to but uh we just in case that the elite is yeah so good than uh but climate here my issue it like to work for less i like to learn from it i just a bone ma uh so both are not to die to go uh ini kuni gafidi sabota debisu tutusa sabota afani kase enuma sabota dinak den len wan hunda gafi sabota debise de de e atindu bat atirat bi jaram qabti ilal che jechu akka sabata ti jaram akka sabata ti awa siyasa qabachu akka sabata ti wonni ni len dangam bi yalle bi fasani tolfame achirat ofin of gulchine sadarka bi yolesa kwanza darka federal ala timbo wolin biya gulchina ilal che jeku ilal che kun ilal che tokochu ilal che a sabonma sabotarra tunday ilal che lamme so ammo ilal che sabonma saba sabarra tunday him barba che su sabonma bi yolesa yo kan aka biya qofatti jirachu qaba ilal che jeku ا الهال تجي وجيراج الهال تجي كل مو الهال تجي كان عندو راه وغوتا دي بوتا في تشون عند اما دي با اوليف الهال تجي مين ستريم يو كان الهال تجي دوغلس بيي تيم بولاتوت الهال تجي كل يو واين سبا دوبتا يو اي نومان سبا هيما يو افان سبوتا كبجمي ادان ساني دا اف فمي جدي bi hindi gamti tokuma nin badi kana fu tokuma akabiyati torachu bi takachimu wolita abamte afan tokotti e numma nisile e numma bi yole sa toko umne akabiyi tokoti yo san bi yitun guddatu dande yo san bi yo tabrati wol dorgomne chalu uf dande na garagaru ma ke nu ke sa garagaru ma umamna nun ba su kaje ilalcha barahalasilla sefalle halasilla sefalle yala turon 
ولت فيدني أفعل تقول جسني إنه ما بيف في فرق نوتي قولني أكبي بيف سنين بولتو كقول أما تروي يشود لا الكسون في درجيل سنو التفوف جا في لفاقو فدي نسمله برا سرنا ويانه وكان كده سجل سجل تبي توك وندو بعرو أبلين جارمي ألين ويانه لين بسونا مكاسباتي نجارمي في Gara anggota itu fikir cinta buat jarum yang lain akan sabat itu ijaraman. Gara anggota itu fuh biji itu sunan nonal luaran akan sabat itu nan nolain akui fah sabat itu ijaramu. Acindu federalisme sabdanes sate en biji bulu jalan kat dia cuma. So ama ilal cikun mainstreami gawat atau ilal cikun gar era af. Do gar era af biji kesan kesat ilal cah bitha ayokan mo. Apa amarah tinggal jijak dan ilal cah jitu galai sahvi. Kita kawan kita kalau tu resun, sun amma ilal cah falmat opposition ni tu aja. Ilal cah ilal cah amma okan isa ambi itu bul tu kan aku falmu, aku falmu tu aja. Karena aku gak aku jiran aku nama fakir na wiyanera, wiyanen tigraib bagat tega aku abih fakar anggoruft. Wor ilal cah sani hedun gak matu kau wiyanen kufu haga madu malay. Ijaran akan sabati ijaran federalisme ini akan sabati sabdan yang sangat pun hindi kami ni. Karena aku kah faida aku kah jadi ulle bila bila orang faham tu ni. Ilal cukup lama ilal cakap orang kotor sujud aja cuci biasa kesan. Irrej ala ilal cakap orang kah orang kotor sujud aja cuci. Ilal cakap orang orang kotor suka na. Ilal cukup lama tu konstituensi fikar. Orang kau ni orang kau no magalu tak kesan. Alat he wogar era afi. Bijiti sangat kesan, wan bijiti sun kapdu birokrasi bijiti sani kesan. Kau faida gudda argat eh, alor tak kena tijer itu, alor tak maybe sawa head dua lima lima ke orang ni jadi, bila kena gudda tijer itu, maka alor tak butuh kesan wala jeratu. Fi amal le wala duri sirno tu duri sangat kesan, kita orang ni gudda kau, wala kun isan efek abu abu yadis awan tu efek orang yadis andalis, wala kun kerah head dua lah. Dan deti bernota hidup berani bernota kan iror era kesa tu birokrasi berikut sa birokrasi kawacu biota lah kesa banyak cu di nak debat lah kawacu kan apa ni isan yo lakuk sate kalle yo tan iba ni sam fida media le hidup kawani di nak de hidup kawani siapa nak iba fida kau dan dan ni isan nama lah mati ani kum segal tapi sa deti nama lawan sud Hendu mata burjaj itu dan dia cuma ni ada dunia lebrat itu. Namun lama tak ani buat kanan, tapi belum tak ani mula cuci dan dia tak kasih tijar. So am masih rata orang ni gavin orang ni talking point itu lama so teh nama ni. Ilal cakana lama ni mula tak orang ni walaupun tu sukan lama ni akhir tu lihat arah sun dan dia. Akhir isa isa kanan guru mun ilal cakana lama ni kau tu lama biji saniti jerat tu biji saniti. Mana tu kok kesa, wala tu kok kesa. Firman, boleh ye ni firman. Ilal tak nak lama kawatu dengar. Akatat tu gudat ni, enoling gudat ni, alakam kesa gudat ni murtes. Murtes aje. Toko ilal tak nak kawatu, kun ilal tak nak kawatu dengar. Wala isen ni enoling gudat ni, akatat ni tu gudat ni murtes. Ero hendu. Karena aku ilal tak nak lama, ilal tu kulama akam ini enoling dengar dengar wajar urat akat hiat. Ada demokrasi biasa yang kesa. Yo gudat cah itu fil. Baik era kita. Adan demokrasi kita cakap tu fuh manja tu. Nampu walingat tak eh hasa eh kun nubah so kanan nubah sa eh walaman sisu walihimu. Yo walingat tak eh walaman sisu hendan dene. Mari in walaman sisu yo hendan dene. Gara umat hati dapat so umat segala era kah hikuan. Segala umat hati bi adunya berak esal lah kasu. Ilalci lama ofan wati sadi afurushan. Ilalci ibu tu kau lejarat tu dengar. Ilalci ibu tu kau sun guru mu ilalci sani indah wujud. Guru mu sun Public media dan umat hari ini, yang itu umat yang kahirat segala itu nukoda me, yang itu segala itu almar gan, yang ni umat baik yang anda keram, yang ada biji timbul tu tak, guru mu yang ada seni dalam tu lembih yang urut itu, adunya aku timbul tu tak, biji tu yang nak lekas, toko toko cakap eh, saudara cikgu, yokan toko muka alani aji dosani, ukan sani, yang ada ifi yang ada Yada murni di kandai garam itu kan rafau aduh hentiin gabbahani yadi kumari yadi umat ira segala yang kau kenal guru orang yo mari inwaligal cat waligal ni waligalan yo mari walaman sisa yo mari walaman sisa tu tak tahu umat hafidiyah sani segala umat hafid 
yaadi chalma argate yani sagale chalma ko yani degerse chalma ko yaada biyiti gultu ta wor yaada sanide gulle wor biye gultu ta gaaf gramo yani ku mochu den yero du bomo ummat yaada fi jijirate lakki kana muti kana na wo yaade ka gramo lechu den ya kana fu haka madit adan su sirni demokrasi adan demokrasi wani jirre fa ma gar hunati de ma majira falli ka tawu dande yaada kana lama ka wali tarase wali de su dande sirna kase diri sura sirna kase diri reje akata ummati sagale fiti yaada fadi tikam yaada irra de gasa ka wargisi sura garasi ta kadem godu hindande ama bifi wali tarase nun aka ki yakana gara mahadi de bisaichu se o pose caris o pose caras itu mata dure la mafara ti ada kena ta gato right before i go to the second point in oromo let me state one fact regarding the uh, uh, democratic rights that prevails in ethiopia right now especially it's about freedom of speech in ethiopia Compared to about four years ago, five years ago, freedom of speech is almost like day and night in Ethiopia. Currently, there are many, many TV stations which were impossible during the pre previous years. There are many, many newspapers. They almost mushroomed overnight, many of them. And uh, even some TV stations or medias that were categorized as terrorists were able to function in Ethiopia. For example, OMN is one of it that's led by Joar. And I've never heard from Joar or anybody from OMN that there is any type of restriction in terms of freedom of speech. But freedom of speech is not everything, but when it comes to freedom of speech, it's easily verifiable how many newspapers are functioning in Ethiopia currently and how many TV stations are there in Ethiopia currently. And I haven't heard and I don't think there is any evidence that says that the government is restricting the freedom of speech right now. The problems are elsewhere, but in terms of freedom of speech, I think they have done a great thing in uh, making the uh, media and uh, very free in that regard. <laughs> لما فارت يا من جيسا نتدبته ورتدبته أتمتي ولت جدوت في دودن دين يعني جدو كني ركنا جدا أبي يكين يا كان كيساتي ركنا جدا كان يسقط وكيسام وني توك أتمتي سنسلا جري بي يتين أتمتي كجارم تير بي يتوك إمبايري ترتين جرا بي يكو إثيوبيا إمبايري فور أني جيرون غير ديمقراطية تجيرون Santamiti, hedu rakisa karabaye. Wari kan andra mo tu mara turani rubaye TV tayt ara turani. Advantage yar gacha turani. Aku mo salpati gat isuje ani adun sirina tihim fakatu. Kesuma colonial mentality wari kabani. Wari all more have to fik abacha turani. Yero jijiram ni kunufusi. Jijiram ni kuni satu ini tinu dewi saja dan yero ya dan ni. Fakihnya etnik federalisme itu hafal akan saja dan yero bayi. Jijiram aja cum bayi sani TV, TPL de firu motum mar rabu u. Garam hari tinu fne dan ya dan ni biya unitary state saja dan ni. Lah federalisme ini bade hundung tu biya toko. Lah saja dan ok seti jiran nak kan jero dan abdi godatan. Yero orang orang di du. Abdi kana, yero motum maris gara toko toko, sifat cigar toko gara sani toko gara kana yero ni gorbu, isan marace tu heera tu bingkuni. Amma yusan wogamek af, iga sani kesa kantori, olan tumma kenya tu argama kanjero, abju kana kani san dey maturan. Jijiram ni kunis kana nufi dajer ani ti kani san abdetai ufan. Yero abdi insani kun jela fashalau kesu masam ni oromo. Kesu mah darjah goti orang melayu amma kan kes, dan mungkin ini sahaja kesu mah Hindu budate orang mal af Hindu na, orang mal af Hindu na kan jero generation ini hara, generation ini sabora kan jero ni kau, lihat semua fi Hindu ni, isana kuasa parti jero tak kati pelafidemna, 
gara kenya ti denti kan jedu yaada kasi kabu turan garu kun ta'a hin jiru kana ga tamit wali ti finna yo ila le biye to ko kesat la fa bi sabane sabdane sa la fa jiru ye chun la fi saboti adadda biye to ko kes biye jira nitti wanta sadi kan ta wudando inni to koni inni jal qaba kun sa sandur yaada turani isa olan tumma qabutu sut ma sutani warra garbra liqimse biye to ko gode afalis wallese man ki sto ko to ko gode biye to ko oba biye fan sai fa ike sati ku wanta taida biye ba ike sati wanta taida to ko kan kan isani abju sani assimilation is policy sa jedu isan bi warra garbra ballesne sabu hunduma sala to ko gona e ronda kan ju inni to ko sa to ko extremely minor fa fin tala to kurai sa turjira inni kala brani mo saboti biye to ko ke sa jiratani lakka chuucha ne jiraachu hin dande nyu motumma mata ke nyan warbaachi sa jedani motumma mata sani abbatani sa sidi godani bile sabaani ko far abbatu extremely la makan jiru inni giddu no mal tu jiru federalism tu jiru federalism je chuni biye to ko ke satti saboti adadda la fajiranitti saboti ak biye tokum barba na biye gudda tokun barba kisa garumo la fajirutti hiren kenya egame ofi kenya o bushina la fajedanitti kana ararsu da afkan abatu da federalism in nijer kana ga sadan tramatu jir sadan kana ke sati nuramma filanne rasanni oromo filanno gara braqa ba sanni oromo qofa ko be motu mamata ko ti yu abachu nan ganda kan yedu haqa sati alternative injuru isakan garu kana di se sanni oromo hata u biye guddaun warba kisa hammam wayo kana andura sena ke setti mid amne rate yu wo jinjira na giddu kana se ufne rajedeti federalism ni nu fataw jede fudater kana madi dajiru enyu da gaga kinsa sanni oromo sal wonni di di sa motu mamata ko ti ni tiyo pyarra gadi baye jiraachu nan danda sa jeru di se giddu gale sa ti dufe federalism ni an nanjira de ga jedeti worri gara brani mo lakki tokku ma singona assimilation policy dan jira nan de jedani male fasikani federalism kan en fudat tani da ga fiju kana kan san di da jira e ga kana tabitti woni ti fidda kana woni ti du kan bu danda amwa kana ki yatti yo san di dani fi wanti go da mun danda mu to ko fa yo ke alternative gara ra ke nya barbadanna gara brani mo samni hamurtes kan kana hi ku danda u yo danda ameti wor elitin taani dubbin kuni hi kamu gati dande nye mal go chun mur rejer mine alternative nu jiru ku fakenya fi oromoni yo federalism an jirate mine ni sodan ke san kan je lu kan wor eliti taani irati mariya chutu rejer kuni ngoda mutanani baru tu rejer oromoni kana akka garet itti mutu rejer kana fuda tan taran garabran kan nun demun rejeru biya mata kenya abba na kana barbad mo jinjira na kan je lu kana itti mame yo san soda san qabani akka federalism iti jira chu kenya rati soda san qaba mayin ni jenne ubanne fakenya akana gud soda san qaba to kutokko namota biya amara to biya garabra ha to biya ormiya ke sajirani hilli kam samu kan je lutu rejeru hiru ko samu kan je lu fatu rejeru haqe sani ne yegamu kan je fatu rejeru isa kana rati dubbatame bill of rights kan je dum fa bawni nanda federalism isa ke seti chaala ma chim same any place la minority injira jilu attamitti haqi war minority dojirani ti egamu danda ma kan je rati fa dubbatamu nanda wanti gochu nanda bu baaye tu jira garu wanti fe etaanan oromon motumma mata saati dabarse hinken motumma amata saati qabate male sut ma sotani yo motu ma kenya hin qabanu te oromoni sibada oromma ni sibada du kanam moy ngodu generation kana di saati yero hammane cimnet yero sobbon ma saba oromo hammane gudden netti yu bare wogame qati oromo fichiratu amma do kana ge e tinno ega testi gol e bodde waye bil summa oromo gara bodde tide bi ay e motu ma sai in isa chu federalism in isa chu 
so kana fi falliti barbada motu rajira wori gara ramali bu sodatu ni jedu kuni be kamada structural advantage ti kan san qabani fa kenya fi motu ma akan sila dubbe magali hundu tu gara beti isan magale ke satti mo olantu ma qabu olantu ma kun ke shin bara baddu hi barbada ni no mo kana jira chu de de yu sama manata ne yero ndu structural advantage sa ju sama gala ke sat sa advantage kama kana ndu tu qalbi qabli thi ni badu tu rajira wal qittu ma ufu tu irajir so dan kun ndu gal garu so da kan san qabata ne fi haqq qam to ko to ko isu hin dan de yu to ko fa mu kan yimun irajir saba warra gal rati warra fakkenya fi ya dadda da qabaniti Wawa fi ita nani oromoni akka sabati wora duri isan cungkur se isani <hesitation> bitta ke se isan gashi deb se hiro go chun dan dau isan wora nu biti wora ufe garbu ma ke se nu gashi debi ali nu ufi namota nu jal dan nu tau ni hin dan dau wu abju akka si yomi yuta nani hafu tu bi raja raja gala tumi ko zakarias amale ubo jayitu ya kafi la mafariti ya zahina so kafi la mafa ya ada la la mana ku are futla la kareas de petete toko federalismi sabarrat sabumarati rarra ukana tursi sura hala mo bi yatakiti aka aka durati aku tak lagi jata ya jura kata lagi jata durati sikti biti jura chu a sabonuman wari wari gama akad roti sari ti jira chu sobar ba dejo sabolum ma dangerous ji ani ya dani no ke mo akabra ti biya ga ga uda af jira ta ta jettu kabani sabo ta jettu ratti wal rabbi wal qudana su mu den de jani wal nikasi san du furi den de si edu ba du furi den de si na kuma du bin wal qudatu ba kasan ge uri den de si Halasan hali ti yado ta kala laman wuli ti alar sul ti dende amu bakata kati mu ti wuli fiduri ti dende amu amu umma tota wulki tei sura umma tota biya san kei se juru hunda wulki tei sura dura mali bara di bato kofi so dogo butu ku alamana ka bata ranta ni wuga ekorami biya sani amanta na magalaja nanno magalaja gersan gerti ak moyo tutu makenya kamra wonni bi yesan bulchuda adam bi yesani wonni gara ekonomi da ti fi hawa summa da ti fi kan siyasa da til len kan chalak isu kan wanannu magalati magala na mo wonni ka oromo da ko risa to Sabun de chuk chuk pamo jenun kan gara ki ba jenun kulun tunu mu magala ra hedu humakam wari hum na tika bu kabe nya tika bu be kom sabi berno nini sabi kiti kan na maturai magala ra magala ta na kai samu wara bera ta kan kubati wara du fe kubati hedu kubati mani wara bi yati nti ya chuk kara chana sa saba sabo sabo ta wuchi tiyati wari man ta to kuma to kuma jai ta ti fe akabra ti jabi sei matukun Magala kai sa kala te ti wala wala la kame ko ho so te wala amara te ra chala sila yo ga te ti re to re ti wudun te la ra bari da isan atban te jo wala di ba shan te mi sa wuan ka bani pi pa kai ya biro kasi na motuma federala a kai hi wani ti har ka di ban ra to ba tam ni ban <hesitation> har ka isan i jirti wala bera ka bi ti ra ta <hesitation> yo Wanda sara mo isan gara adat inis isara kebra gudde tani jira mal to gudde se kabeinya umman ni biya vasuni mo tumman har kasi ratin bara di ba bara di ba kana ni kei jutu da tora bara di ba kuda sagal sodo misa di kana ra 
حالو خرا برنوتا تيللي خرا ماس ميديا لا تيللي خرا موتوما توجد تملي افان توك جابي هذا توك جسن قبيل يوم متى تيني ودسني اسينجا اوسو انسان بكس لا بر بعد انسان خلنا مش شفتوا افان مارا دبتي هذا مارا قبتي ورتي اكسالي تديو دندي اوسو كسني نين غيني دبير سبون مارا تون دالت Amma dalam tu, wujud tivi tu berbaca. Wujud tivi tu dah fomo ekuitin ref jauhan. Gara, gara. Ia, eh ada alat surat itu gara ekonomi datin, gara bulci sebab tu mara tin, gara politik arah tin. Pakainya, apa normo apa federal lah atau biroja. Apa normo dah aku ni federal lah kisah selun, nama normo dah head duda. Dalaga kap sisa je tu, sebenti persen ti revo terlejar tu sate kaca dewa je tu. Wan sila gua demu kau bukan aku hunde ego gua ni boleh tu, tapi ada kiti tici dewu ni dan dia ma. Oso sering gua ni, oso sering gua ni, kau bukan itu dewi mu, kau ma ada awi baru sini tiu kah dewi tu ada mu. Tadur sini tu itu dewi a assimilasi ni jenuh sami, yo kau mau dulu, nabi bija mau dulu amara uji tu, kau ma beti. Santu teru fa. Gamak kanan ini serap kerja tu tanah lalu berbaca tanah. Gamun kanan mu wang pete tim tu leh indah gaya ni ram mati. Rakon sa, nami nami head dua tu dia ada berita itu dia isi. Sodat itu isi seni flan leh je ni wang pete itu dia isi abang pete. Ya, setelah kal mutu mu aman terajur tu tanah tu tak isari. Jadi ada sari leh kerana tu cakap kesudah apa tak tahu tunjuk tu. Garu tu lah baca jalan si tanah tu tanah tanah Malah ini political culture aja, ada siasa ada tu berani rada berani bau ni isan ke segar tu, agak kamera sani, diga sani tak ada jor tu. Anak jeccha anyway, kalau kita arah suka dengan dia mu, umur ni ke orang muda, umur ni cukup formu berakulis, baca sila gayuk abang sen yoga. Waktu malam tu ni, waktu malam fikir yoga isi sudah dengan isi, aci muda orang kahwin rakti. Ini mahu tuan mahu tuan mahu kita tidak boleh jahat je curhat ti, boleh tidak dia buat ni dan dia nanti fakta. Arari si la, umat akan awal kita isu dan dia sudah ada jatuh kawan. Ogo awal kita isu rejo, ekonomi dan, siasa dan, hawa semua dan ni. Arah tena, agam tak ada jira, yang hari lalu yang berbat tentang ti, biasan kesa gazeta awal lelu afur tam shantam fajar media. FM ni dah aku tempat lah tu jelah. Hundi mu apa nama orang kau? Mandi, mandi berah umar orang kau. Eh, dekji bisa ni ada jelah. Mungkin tak curhat ni, akak berat tak fakoh ada jelah orang mandi sari. Anak, yo, mungkin tak rasul, mungkin tak isulah ni. Ego mungkin kita isari boda. Orang ni jamu, orang ni san berbadan ni, orang mohon ibu kamera ni, nak kagari ni, arah ramai. Fura cuma kegar itu sah belaf tu dah nanti fakta. Yeah, I previously I was wondering if there is time and space for questions. Oh, thank you. There will be time and space for questions. Yeah. So, do Arab Afghana go do kenyang dura? Ya, ada tu kau ni suruh Arab ada. Ama, warri panel stone ni kenyang ada tak tak khas ni tiada ni. Kau tu majid. One be abdo abdo jalil one be yakin sejuru akagari nur sani jurani abu nagi sani swan asita ani tindalat one nur sani turani abu zakaria si sarkasum. Amo jidu taneti also break and bahin dura one ni tak kahasuk amu nuti nuti ni waras jurang mau orang muda potential ni he ni aku orang muda amari agal le nau makan san koman ne yoki si parti berasan akan nur gurani akasum gurani jatuhra. Nutiu kau nama dan dia tini kau nama. Malah fikir jatuh, fikir jatuh. Wan ni pun dah waktu ni ada nanti wan ni murtesa. Tura sabah hati. Lakau si sabah hati he tu murtesa. Biasa ni tu awal rumah aku tu sihat awam ni. Orang ni berkata kasih kau ni bahar hati si darbun dan dia. Tura potensial ni untuk aku aku orang muti sabah hati. Sabah hati ni nanti akan mesti hujan ni jira. Sambil hati ni amal le sahum. Ega tu mu sabah full tura beh. Amma boda anak tu kara isinggar sisa. Yoki hisi, anak tu isim hiri hisi saja sabab sabab dendewu yoki sabab himacu dendewu kamu akan. Sangkau faham ada alu tu nurajer. Malik yang ni amma kei hukum kundiru haka usoh tahu siasat ini siasat ini siasat ini mu akan itu mana 
akka miti biye sam kai satti jijiramu wajiru kana jijiramu kun bar jalate mes jibba mes no moro moti du jijiramu kun gab bikabira ma ude ma yo jemi khashakinu si ofa ya dan if chimsine if gurme sine hawasni khenya kun ya da khana no ma ho in fudatu ya da kana khana qabna ya da isin amansi su dan deuje ya da sasam fudat garsi su ka mulli su dan deuka ma aliki amma boda halli siyasa kun gar hum nati o dem wan nutis wan jarri khanis ba etchu dan deu ala halli hum nibrato ko yus rakki nibrato ko mutu dufu dan de ana abjecha yo moyal mutu kulli mormini ya da kana gara kana mormina nam nam ni tokko mana ma narke yo his abju narke je sihi nama san nama abju yo his mana ma qaw san akami falmu dan des mana ni jechu bar ya da wan halak abata ma akami ni amman ti wanni rakina khaisa bu ajibu akana ya jujirani akana nuge su de mani kharahan muti hum baina dada ko gu akana nuge san khaisani wuji de nuti hum isna ya dani kamna hum nani kamna nuti sa akana isin gar sifna ya ni khenya khana ya da murtawate ya da dubifane nama agasifa mudande ya da murki da ihatu ya da kasisani ni adunya amma jibuta na khaisati mo hu dande male ebalu akana ya da muhanas akana nu gaisu de nu ti kun mali dura janni fu gachu kam na mamu bela da mu me sha da mu kam akamiti na mutu kun fudati bi kata kun gais hetu ittiyadu kam na amma breka bana itti de bine mu yada lamani fi sadin hafan sanati gaggabab sine ha soina then after that we will have question and answer time okay so the whole discussion was about the current situation and the status of oromo and the status of the other groups So what I was trying to say is uh, I mean what everybody was trying to say is how we can reconcile ideas how we can function as a state as people as one nation despite having all these differences so they have mentioned different approaches the first approach that was mentioned was let's do like a kind of referendum so that people can agree on something and the other one is if they do not if they don't agree on referendum there is another option of creating your own statehood So are we going to that situation at, at this current situation at this at this current situation no we cannot go but we need to have discussion that's what they were mentioning in Afan Oromo so now we will do like a 10 minutes break after that we'll be back and we will touch on the remaining points then uh, we will have question and answer in the meantime uh, if you guys have any question related to the topic you can ask in the middle i will try to give you like 2 minutes or Three minutes in between. Okay, thank you very much, and thank you for your patience again. Wow. Only ten minutes. Hello again. We are back now. So, I'm not even here. They come to the room. Yeah, the matter to really have both the have and sense. Sila, cash up, but by not to really. I'm not intending you. amma onni gonu akka ga fi fi de bitti e galle ti jiddutti swanni ballinan khafa moyo jurate ya da khenya khasna so we were planning to discuss the other uh, two points that we were promising to come back and discuss on them but now when we talk to the organizers we only have like half an hour so what we are going to do is let's do like question and answer type so that we can discuss more Then after that, if there is any point that needs more clarification, so one of them will clarify on that. So any question, please. Yeah, I think just I'll one minute. Let me just keep oh, this. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, take take the microphone. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Mohammed Bohan. I intern here. I work with Peter. Uh, I now work with Minneapolis Public Schools. So it's great to uh, be back where I uh, used to help. Uh, I think I got the first opportunity because I raised my hand first. <laughs> Coming back to my question, I I follow the Ethiopian. Uh, uh, issues very closely as I'm the neighbor and from Somalia and I got 
uh, interested in it. Uh, and I was also following Jawar Muhammad when he was here. So my question is, I had that feeling that the Cueros, I don't even pronounce the name very well, the Oromi youth, especially they instigated this change in, in Ethiopia through their blood and sweat. I'm feeling like other ethnic groups that did not contribute enough to this change. So is that a challenge now, like the Oromo activists and the Oromo people in general, they want a demo democratic transition in Ethiopia. At the same time, other ethnic groups are not really pushing as ha pushing hard as the Oromos are doing. And how that affects this, because it's like the Oromo ones, they want progress, they want like democratic change and rights, and other ethnic groups are, some of them, as you mentioned, are the, the pro, uh, the, like the central government, the power is centered uh, on the center. And other ethnic groups, uh, like the Somalis or the Afar, they have been marginalized by the system itself, and they don't have enough impetus now in Ethiopian politics. I, I think my question is clear. Thank you. Mohammed's question is uh, connected to this power relations between different groups within uh, Ethiopia and how Oromos are perceived today despite having, despite ruling the central government and what would be the uh, impression of other groups. That's the general question. So let me start from Nagesa to answer this question, then we will follow with other panelists. So to briefly answer this question, um, we do we do know that the role of Cairo, the Keros, the youth, Roma youth group, in bringing about the change is um, greater than any other group. Obviously, the sacrifice they paid for in the movement and um, their role is no other group has a closer role. I mean, uh, when I say this, uh, I, I, I'm not ruling out the fact that other groups have contributed to the change. There are Amhara uh, users, uh, Fanos, and there are, there are other groups like the Guragis, uh, the, uh, the Sidamas, Ejeto, and the Somalis also. And I mean, a, a lot of groups have contributed for this change. I mean, people in other and positions, journalists, a lot of people have contributed. but. The Keros movement is the largest one. It takes the lion's share. Um, having said that, there is this fear that in Ethiopia, any group which lead a certain movement, when they come to power, they claim the sacrifice they paid and then uh, take the power, take the economy, and a lot of things. If you take the TPLF, uh, TPLF was an insurgent group, a guerrilla fighter. When they came to power, then every year, that is called in May 20, in Amharic Gimbothaya, when they celebrate, they show Ethiopian people the sacrifice they paid, about 20,000 soldiers uh, sacrificed in the struggle. And then no other Ethiopian can claim for his right because immediately they tell you that we did sacrifice this much, so you are not entitled to kind of thing. I mean, they don't speak out that way. Maybe some of them may say it, even though they don't officially claim that they are entitled to the political power and the economy and everything to do whatever, but implicitly there is that message. That has really caused anger among Ethiopians and now other groups have the fear that when we say Keros played this role, they are immediately saying, okay, TPLF has been saying that and had that rule of you know, dictatorial rule, and now the Oromo might use the same way, and might, while telling their sacrifices, they might uh, have this rule. I mean, there is a fear by other groups. So, Heros uh, does not sacrifice to make Oromos the dictator rulers. They sacrificed for equality and um, to bring about democracy in that country. So, I think uh, for history, we'll leave that 
that role and that all the movement and sacrifice for history and then now uh, everybody should be uh, should come around the table and to have a roadmap to towards the future uh, better Ethiopia uh, an Ethiopia that can everybody get freedom uh, people live in freedom in democracy and how to transition the country to democracy I think that should be the point but for me the major issue uh, the major um, uh, the major problem is that uh, contradictory views in uh, contradictory ideologies uh, as to how what kind of government structure we should have among the one we have been talking to Thank you, Mr. Nagesa. So now I will give the chance to Zacharias, then to uh, Abdul Jalil. No, I just wanted to add one point to what Nagesa said. Uh, he, he, he was mentioning about the TPLF used to say that we're entitled to more role in Ethiopia because we sacrifice more. But what makes our case different is we're not claiming that we should be entitled to more because we sacrifice more. But our question is, even though we sacrifice more, we need our equality commensurate with our population size. That's the only thing that they are most demanding. Based on our population size, we should be represented based on that. Not we should be entitled more because we sacrifice more. Thank you, Zakarias, for the brief. Uh uh, response. Now uh, it's the turn for Abdul Jalil. I think we have answered enough, but uh, if I have to add, uh, you know, the very fact that the Kairos were also protesting this last week shows you that uh, uh, it's not like TPLF at all. The TPLF came with guns and so on, and uh, usurped everything, all the power and everything, the economy, the whole thing. Like Eros just brought the change and went home. I mean, uh, they don't even have a role in within the government. The EPRDF is the same EPRDF, but uh, with, uh, of course, changes within them. Changes within them, but not, uh, like I said, Eros are just like me and you, that's all. They just brought it and went back home. That's what happened, and that's why they are protesting. But they came when they were when they were doing the struggle. They were um, uh, raising a lot of questions, and none of their questions have been answered at all. Thank you uh, for the explanation, all the three panel panelists. So I have question for I have a question for them. So now uh, we have, since we have started this discussion, it has been like a month or so. Uh, so in the current situation, in the problem that we're facing back home uh, in Ethiopia, uh, what role should we play as a diaspora and as a, uh, as a society of democratic system? How can we help the people back home in Africa? So uh, please uh, do your uh, reflections on this one. Thank you. Okay, that's a difficult question because we're used to oppose and be against the previous governments. Now the roles are changing a little bit. There are things that we like of what's being done the last year and there are things also that we oppose. But the other major thing that happened is in the past the politics used to reside here, at least the brain of it used to reside in a foreign country because there was no democratic rights back home and almost all the political organizations, opposition political organizations used to be outside the country. Over the last year that has changed a little bit, most of political organizations are back home. And because of this, the role of the diaspora should also change. The politics should be there. People who reside there know the people, feel the, the hit and the cold of what's happening back home should take the uh, lion's share. They should be the people who should be leading the politics. What should be the role of the diaspora? 
But because we are detached somehow, sometimes we are out of touch in a way, but because the world is also becoming one because of social media and technological uh, developments, we also to some extent know what's going there. Given that situation, the maximum that we could do is, for example, we can be advocates, for example, if there is a human rights violation back home, we should be advocating. We can contact Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, Minnesota Advocates, and all other uh, human rights organizations and expose the human rights violation that exists there. But as for all the other things, the other major thing that we can do is there is a huge misinformation going back home of what's been happening. Even about the events that happened about the last week, there is a huge misinformation. And because the other group are more organized, they are more educated, they are more contact, they are filling the media with disinformation, misinformation, and total fabrication. The Oromo diaspora has the role of following this very carefully and give the right information. Because once they have established that the Oromos are the aggressive or the killers or those type of things, once that established, it's going to be extremely difficult to change it. And so before it takes root, there is a huge, huge role that we can play. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zakarias. Uh, Nagisa? I think uh, we, uh, being uh, outside uh, the country, will not rail on right there on the ground. Uh, the role we should play, number one, is the role of promoting, promoting peace. Uh, we can call for peace, uh, we can call for reconciliation, we can work with different groups, as Zakaria said, different human rights organizations. Uh, we can uh, facilitate discussions among, uh, between different uh, uh, members of elites of different groups. So uh, we can even ask for experience of other countries. There are other countries who pass through with a similar situation. I mean, we can get those experience, and we can invite other people to share us those experience, and then we can send out our messages. I mean, people listen to the, the their members of their groups in diaspora. Uh, the people back home, they can listen. Now we have social media, we have technology, it's very um, conducive. Whatever message we send, if we can send a powerful message, if we can make a very good discussion and send it, we can shape, we can influence the politics and the, I mean, situation back home. So uh, these are things we can do. In addition to that, uh, our, the people in Ethiopia are, Ethiopia is one of the poorest places on this earth. And uh, many people, uh, millions of them are probably not even getting uh, to feed to feed themselves two times a day or things like that. Uh, there are a lot of a lot of places like um, the lowlands are extremely dry, and uh, water is in a very very short supply. And um, in addition to that. The issue of education, people from outside can address a lot of uh, education stuff. You know, they can probably volunteer and make education available, or they can uh, dig wells and uh, bring water to the needy. Or you know, people, or people are just they are in desperate situation. That's how they are. It's not only not only politics. I mean, it's not only politics about you know that what that country needs. So those who can invest should also be able to uh, get together and invest. Invest not only where they can make the most of uh, the money, but they need to invest in places where they can create um, good employment. Uh, from in that country, I think I don't know in numbers, but. When I went there, everywhere I see are people who are unemployed. Everywhere I see a lot of them. 
I don't know the statistics. It might be 10 million unemployed. I don't know. Uh, I, it's really, it's really, it, it just, I just know that's a lot. And uh, it is really sad. So not only politics. So those are the things the people, what you said, the role of diaspora should also, in addition to what you said, we have to create roles for in groups, and then the groups should work on each one of them. Last, uh, they have to create their own lots of media, just like the others are, you know, throwing dirt on our everything. Uh, we need to really protect our people, and that is extremely important. Thank you, Mr. Abu Jalil. Do we have any other question from audience? Okay, Mahdi. Um, thank you so much. My name is Mahdi. I also intern here. And my question is about um, we know that the Ethiopian uh, federalism is different from other forms of federalism. Like in the United States, it's based on geography. States have their own designated uh, territorial uh, border, but Ethiopian uh, federalism is based on on the merits of uh, language, ethnicity, and stuff like that. So, and also, um, my question is: um, since we know there have been historical marginalization of of uh, some groups of ethnic uh, people in Ethiopia and because of that um, federalism was seen as a way that gives autonomy and rights to these people like giving them the right to exercise their own um, like to speak their language or to exercise their religion and all that but can we say federalism um, also, all, considering all the ethnic problems that has arisen in the last 28 years, can we say ethnic federalism has failed to cure the long-standing historical um, injustices? And can we also say, uh, looking forward in the future, what would be the alternative to this um, system? If we want to be a just and democratic society, how can we promote democracy and tolerance in our society? Thank you so much. Thank you, Mahdi. Before the panelists answer this question, uh, at the end, Nagisa will need like five minutes because he has a message of peace and reconciliation for the people in Ethiopia. So when the panelists answer this question, please be mindful of that time. If you can only use two minutes, that is really appreciable. Thank you. Right, that, that's a good uh, question, but one misperception about ethnic federalism in Ethiopia is it's also territorially based. As I tried to say before, ethnic groups are ethnically uh, territorially based in Ethiopia. In some countries, for example, they are dispersed everywhere. That's not the case in Ethiopia. They occupy a certain territory. That's why we say it's ethnically, even though it's ethnic federalism, it's a territorially based federalism. And uh, that's needed because, for example, for the Oromos, they were occupied and they were incorporated under Ethiopia as almost their territory was taken. And then self-determination comes from there. And therefore, it should be a territorially based federalism. And uh, if you don't have that, then the struggle and the self-determination, all those things would not have any meaning. So it's not right to say that this is not territorially based. Thank you, Zakaris. I will give uh, the second chance to uh, Mr. Abdul Jalil. So the question was, um, did ethnically based federalism solve all the historical, uh, solve all the historical injustices? No, no, it did not. Uh, partially it did. Um, Partially it did, but uh, because there was no democracy in it, there was no democracy. Like, like for, for instance, the um, the uh, Ethiopian Somali had their own their own state, but it was ruled by 
the EPRDF itself from from behind. So there was whatever the EPRDF group or the actually at the helm was the TPLF itself, and whatever the TPLF wanted goes in that territory, and and it was not democratized. Then also, let me say the people in the Gahabur would not elect their own mayor. <laughs> It is uh, elected for them, so based on uh, whatever the EPRD group or the TPLF wanted. So there was no democracy, and the same goes in the economy, the same goes in, in all other issues. And uh, because that ethnic federalism uh, did not have democracy, it did not really uh, go, go, go far enough at all, so, so that's if I answered your question. Thank you. Um, uh, we cannot say it has failed because it has not been uh, injected or it has not been done on the right, the right way. I mean, whatever medicine, whatever um, thing you have, unless you do it the right way, it doesn't cure you. And after you have done it the right way, if it doesn't cure you, you can say it failed. But the, the multinational, multinational federalism in Ethiopia has not been conducted the right way without democracy and with, uh, not with the will of the people or, I mean, it, it's not done the right way in, in, in general. So, uh, so we can't say it failed. At least we have to do it the right way, and then we can see outcome after that. So we can say it failed. Mm, thank you. Thank you for very much for uh, the questions. As I have told you earlier, we only left with what three or four minutes. So we will give this minutes to Mr. Nagisa so that he. Uh, oh. Can we let people know when when we will meet again? Like, did we say November 10th, I guess? Yes. If say it loud into the, so they can hear it. Yep. Okay, uh, our next panel would be on, will be on November the 10th. So, paneling can arrive that is true. November could be the 10th. So, some of you have to remember that. Saa Saa could be the hanga Saa could be the maulakat. Uh, can we have a separate video for this one? I don't know. Uh, can you have it? Can you end that one and have a separate video? Because I wanted to circulate.